All right, I want to show you how we can get IntelliSense from our server-side models and into both JavaScript and TypeScript. So let me start you off with this scenario. So I'm building my web API, and I'm now going to consume uh, my C Sharp or, or Visual Basic models from JavaScript. Um, and I'm going to do that here in JavaScript by doing an AJAX recall. I'm sorry, an AJAX call. Um, and that AJAX call is going to return me some data. So that data is coming off of a model that I have in C Sharp, and I would like to get IntelliSense uh, from that here in JavaScript. So what we can do is that we can go here to my model class, which I have right here. It actually contains, as we can see here, uh, four different classes inside this file. And um, I can now just right click and say, hey, create JavaScript IntelliSense file. And it creates automatically this JS file. So now, in my JavaScript, I can do this and say that the parameter named data should be of type server.login view model, which is what I have in my C sharp classes. And therefore, I can now do var p equals data, which is this guy up here, dot, and we can see that we now have IntelliSense on, you can see here on the, uh, on the actual C sharp classes that's coming through over the wire and as a JSON object right here. So that makes it really easy. Now, let's do the same for TypeScript. The experience here is actually uh, better and a little bit different. So let's take a look. Let's do the same thing. Let's right click and say create, create TypeScript IntelliSense file. And it creates a d.ts, so it creates a definition TypeScript file. And if I now go over here in my TypeScript file, see we're doing the exact same thing, but we're doing it in TypeScript. Instead of doing the comment, um, we can just say the data is of type server. So here I get IntelliSense, login view model. And we can do the same thing, var p equals data dot password two. That's really, really cool. Now let's go in to my actual class here and make a change. So of course it was not password two, it should have just been password like this. I'm now going to build my solution here. And we can see that we now get an error here from TypeScript saying, hey, password two does not exist anymore. So let's just invoke IntelliSense. It's called password. So now we can actually enforce uh, all this naming from the C Sharp all the way into TypeScript um, for the first time. So I'm very curious to, to uh, hear what you think about this, if it's, uh, it's something that you would think is useful or not. Thanks for watching.